Look at that. Good morning, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. Holidays are coming up, and you guys know that I do a lot of homemade stuff uh, to give out. We've made our uh, gourmet vanilla extract. Can't wait to give that out, guys. It's been aging now for almost 10 months. So excited about that. But today, I'm going to show you how to make infused olive oils. Now you may think it's pretty easy. There's a lot of videos out there um, about it and it is pretty easy, but some of the methods that we're seeing may not be so good because you can introduce um, botulism. <laughs> yes, botulism, if you don't infuse your olive oils correctly. So we're gonna go over that today and we're gonna show you the steps that you'll need to do if this is something you decide to do for long-term storage or to give out as gifts. So I've gone out and chopped some fresh rosemary out of my Tower of Power, and I have a clove of garlic. Now, I'm not gonna do the garlic today, guys. I'm just gonna show you the rosemary. And um, it's really important to know that there's really only three herbs that are safe to do this method with, and that is rosemary, basil, and oregano. So you need citric acid, and you need two cups of warm water. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of the citric acid to my warm water and I'm gonna stir it up. Now you wanna make sure and get it really dissolved well. And it is not recommended also, guys, that you mix your herbs with the garlic. Um, gosh, you know, who would have ever thought that this would have been something that you really need to, to consider before you did your infused oils. Now, some of the videos that are out, if you do decide to do uh, the heating on the stove or to let sit, you wanna make sure and refrigerate your olive oil and not leave it on the shelf because it will spoil and you may very well get the botulism toxin. And we don't want that for our family members or our friends. So your next step is you want to put your rosemary in a container, you can put it in a jar, you can put it in a bowl, but the objective is, is it's got to stay submersed beneath this water for 24 hours. So I'm gonna use this handy dandy little crock that one of my subscribers sent me. Now you want to make sure that it stays totally submersed. And guys, we're gonna let this sit for 24 hours. It is eight o'clock in the morning, so this time tomorrow I'll pull it out and I will finish up this video. Now, if you decide you wanna do garlic, you cannot do this with the whole cloves. You do need to chop it up and, and perform this very same process by soaking it for 24 hours. And you want it in small chunks. Um, and you're, if you're gonna do the garlic, it is uh, one to 10. So uh, one tenth of your garlic chopped to uh, nine parts of your olive oil. And you wanna make sure that you have some dark storage oil, uh, jars, some dark storage bottles or a mason jar. So I got these off Amazon guys and it's got the little corks and it's got the seal. And so when we finish up this process, you'll see how this works. So before we get started on our recipe, Let's go check out what we did last night to see if it worked. About our vermin. Woo wee. Look at all these little teepees in here. So guys, we found these clear solo cups and I'm gonna show you the name of them here in a minute. It's almost like they designed them just for us. But we're trying this at night to see <clears throat> if it will protect them, protect our handy dandy little plants. <coughs> There's that morning thing again. <clears throat> From the vermin. <laughs> and not one of these were turned over and we did go ahead <clears throat> and set the, the rat traps and uh, they were not triggered overnight. So I'm wondering if we do this until they start eating the poison over in those tomcats, and I'll have Greg check that today. And then I'm gonna put some onions in between here. We might <clears throat> be okay. 
Now, is this practical if you have a big garden? Probably not, but we're gonna have to go ahead and try it because I have to get these plants up and going and stand on their own until I feel confident that those rat traps, those rodent traps are working. So we're getting into that time of year where it's really cool in the morning where you could probably wear sweats or even jeans. And then in the afternoon, we're getting up into the 90s, which is hot. But uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying these cooler temps and I think my plants are too. It's also that time of year where it's staying darker longer. And guys, when we have, when we go back to standard time um, at the 1st of November, we'll be dark until almost 8 a.m. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Okay, so before we get started on making our infused olive oil, I am making some of my salve. Now last year, guys, I did a calendula salve. Actually, it might've been the year before. So I'm making uh, some more of my herbal salves uh, for muscle relief. I'll put the video link down below for that. Then we're gonna get started on our uh, rosemary infused olive oil. These two make great Christmas gifts, guys, and I gave them out last year. You can use lavender, you can use uh, your calendula, you can make herbal salves, very easy to do. So be sure and go check out that video in the description. So this rosemary has been um, soaking, guys, for about 24 hours. You can do a little bit more, but you cannot do less. And so you wanna make sure it's completely stayed submerged. I'm gonna to have to take that little part off right there of that rosemary. We don't wanna take any chances with this. We're straining it out, guys. You want it to be strained out and then we want it to dry. We wanna get it as dry as possible so that you don't introduce any liquid to your olive oil because that'll break it down. So you can see it discolors the herbs, but that's just from the citric acid. We're fine with that. It'll do the same with your basil and your oregano if you decide to do that. But we're gonna let this dry a little bit before proceeding. So we got this guys just about as dry as it can be. You want a clean jar and you're gonna put your herbs, in this case, rosemary And then we're gonna fill it with our extra virgin organic Greek olive oil. So I'm filling it uh, probably a little over a half, maybe three quarters full. The recipe for garlic is 10 to one, uh, 10 parts olive oil to one part garlic. This was quite a bit of rosemary. And uh, so I think that we're gonna be just fine with this. We're gonna put this in a cool dark corner and we're gonna let it sit for 10 days we may taste it guys in about five to seven. We don't want it to get overpowering. And then let me show you what we're gonna do. Ta-da! So I bought these on Amazon. And if you've been watching, you saw me use the smaller bottles for our pepper sauce that can seal. You can seal them yourself with steam. And we're gonna do the same thing with these. Now, if you're tempted to put a rosemary sprig in the olive oil for decorative, and to just look more appealing, you have to use one that uh, you did soak in the citric acid. You cannot put anything fresh in here because you may risk introducing the botulism toxin in your olive oil. These bottles come with these little corks and then it comes with the little sealing sleeve that I used on uh, the peppers. So if you decide to go the route of heating up the olive oil and adding your herbs, your fresh herbs uh, that way, and then putting them in a jar, you will need to refrigerate that, guys. Um, just be very, very safe when you're doing stuff like this and make sure you investigate all the avenues and all the ways to make sure that uh, you have safe uh, food handling skills and make sure you understand um, how to do these things properly. Now, my mother-in-law, who's our biggest fan, thank you, Charlotte, bought this for me for my birthday. And it is a botanical infuser. 
and I'll be able to do olive oil with this as well. Now I'm not well versed on it yet, but I am studying on it because I wanna do it correctly. You can make butters, you can make flavored oils. I just need to make sure we do it safely so that uh, whenever we eat it, we don't uh, consume something that may be very harmful to us or our family members. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, Christmas season is right around the corner and uh, so we're getting ready and we're getting our gifts ready and uh, it's going to be a gift, a homemade gift giving season for us. We make lots of great things. In fact, Pop and I are fixing to start uh, making cookies and we're going to test them to see what we're going to make for our family and friends come Christmas. So I'll be doing some videos on that. Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, you can make homemade gifts. We have made uh, pepper sauce. We are making now infused olive oil. We have made our own gourmet uh, vanilla extract. Lots of great things, guys, you can do, salves, um, to give to your family for Christmas. And a lot of it can come right out of your own garden. So thank you guys for watching. Take care, God bless. I'll update you on this one whenever it's complete, but it's gonna be about 10 days. Again, we'll test it in about five to seven days to make sure it's not overpowering. The rosemary still had its uh, aroma. It was very aromatic. I'm confident that this is going to be great. We made sure uh, and followed the proper processes and uh, really excited to see how this turns out. Take care. God bless. We'll be in touch.